And start. Hello. Welcome to Looky Looky Little Crafts. I'm Candice and I'm still here working on my uh, Christmas cards. I'm loving every minute of it here. I've had some brainstorms this morning. And, uh, well, I had my card bases already made. So, ooh, yes. Doing a good job here. And I don't know. It's how I want it to open matters to how I'm going to put my paper. I don't know. But I'm going with it. I retired my glue because I ain't got time to worry about almost not having enough glue. And, you know, it, it's in the bottom of its thingy. I still got some glue in it, but I ain't got time to worry about getting that glue out. And I put a small hole in this one, hoping that it wouldn't be too much glue. And that I get enough glue. Now see, it doesn't even matter if I get it in the middle, because, uh, yeah, I tore the edges. Look at that. I think that looks okay. Oh, I got a couple of these. I should put a light blue on here. Look at that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I don't know, I turned it upside down. Oh, you better come out. I'll give me a paintbrush and uh, pull you out. Okay. There we go. I don't have too many colored bases. Because I just had that brainstorm. Don't want it dark blue. Oh, light blue on that green. Oh, I could put a red on that green. I like the red. Turn upside down, glue. Turn upside down. Stop being ornery. I'm going to tear that one down some more. Get over there. Okay. I'm going with it. It's a little big. A little big. But uh, that's what it is. I'm going to get on the move. So I get to the decorating, the fun part, and, you know, understanding the person that I'm sending it to. Maybe I could create, you know, something that they personally like. And, well, some people I don't know yet, but uh, that's what. Uh, channels are about is getting to know new people, making friends, and so, been having a great time doing that, awesome, I mean, we're much all over here, I'm going hang that upside down, okay, I might be a little big, but, uh, yeah, we're going with it, oh, do I like this side, I like that side, see, uh, it pays, Give yourself an option. Ooh, what are y'all doing while you're watching a video? Are you wrapping your presents or washing your dishes or ironing your clothes or filling out your cards for Christmas? Uh, what y'all doing? I'd be interested to know. You can let me know in the comments. Um, that would be awesome. Cause I'm usually crafting something, so maybe you're crafting something. Oh, I had a little smear. Dang, dang, dang. Right, more character, more character. 
Capture two of my cards. Okay. Now what's that way? Like that. Do I like that? Nope. Finger back. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do, 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 do. Get this on there. Ooh. This is a Christmas song. You know, I like the traditional Christmas songs. Better than the new Christmas songs. When I was growing up, Mama had one of them big console stereos. The old timey kind, you know, like the, from the 50s. And, and she would open it up and play our Christmas records on it. And, and that's a nice memory that I have because I, I remember that stereo that she had. And she would keep the Christmas carols playing all day long. Of course, she had the records. Um, this one. Yeah, so this ain't on this side. So, I might have to open my hole a little. I think I've been using too much glue because the hole in my other model, you know, I just sniffed it off. For this one, I got a, a push pin in there and opened it up a little. I need to get some of those, uh, uh, little bottles with the long skinny needles uh, not needles long skinny pins spout type thing I don't, see I don't know what it's called so it's not hard to go in the store and ask for something when you don't know what it is an applicator tip there it's long skinny metal applicator tip But if it has an official name, I don't know what that is. Which also make it hard. Alright, glue. Let's get this show on the road. Hey, I'm making progress. I, I mean, I ain't finished. Well, I ain't finished with none of the ones I done yesterday. What I done yesterday, I still got to put my sentiments in it. And any kind of decorations on the inside I was going to put. But my, my plan yesterday ended at the cover. You know, the inside would say Merry Christmas and that's it. <laughs> But today I'm thinking, well, if, if I, I get the inside, I'll put a little something in there. Besides Merry Christmas, you know. So, um, make it a little interesting. And if I get this going, that's what I'll do. Otherwise, it'll be a plain Merry Christmas. Because I would like the mailman to pick these up today. And my mailman comes right to my door. Because I'm disabled. Like he brings mine to the door. And I have a mail slot. And if they can't get it in the mail slot, he puts it between my storm door and my front door. Or knocks. He's more apt to knock now that my Priscilla has passed away. He wasn't too trusting of her, and I don't blame him. Well, I actually sat out on the porch with her and uh, introduced her to the mailman to, to, to kind of help things out. And he was game. He was all for it. <laughs> and she was fine. She pet him. She took snacks, and uh, or she allowed herself to be petted. And she took snaps, and she was her happy, happy, happy girl. And then... Uh, we thought, okay, we got this problem solved. She'll stop attacking the door <laughs> whenever the mailman comes to put in the door. But no, she still attacked the door every time he comes to put mail inside the door. So he was fine, but he could not put nothing inside my door. <laughs> she wasn't having that. So, I mean, I, I, at first I thought, well, that's the problem. Somebody's, you know, stubbing something in the door. She, she don't know about that. So, I would stand out there and, and put stuff through the door. You know, old mail and uh, newspapers, or, you know, little books, anything that could fit. 
and uh, she was happy with it. She would just wag her tail at me. You know. Because I can look through the little flap and see what she was doing. She just got the wagon tail. I said, well, that's because it's me. She knows it's me on the other side. And I can shove anything in that hole that I want. So I got Mitchell to do it. And it was the same. So then I got Mitchell to get some of his friends to come and do it. And they did the same. But uh, I think she was on to us. She was a smart girl. <laughs> As long as me and my son were part of the deal, uh, anybody could put anything in the door that they wanted. Uh, except the mailman. <laughs> Not the mailman. The mailman couldn't put nothing in there. All my official documents had tooth marks in it. <laughs> I had to have my uh, bank card uh, I lost my bank card. I had to get a new bank card. And I went in there. And uh, when it came in the mail, t Priscilla had got it. And boy, she uh, she got that chip in, in your bank card and, and with her fangs. And uh, that thing wouldn't work. <laughs> so I had to go back to the bank. And. Uh, get me another temporary car because I had, you know, called in and set that one all up before I found out it wouldn't work. And so, you know, I took it to the bank. I said, you know, sorry, my dog ate it. And so I ordered another one. <laughs> and when that one come in, she got the, she, she did it again. I said, oh, it was the same thing. She, she bit that chip and it wouldn't work. So I had to order another one. <laughs> So next time I went in, uh, they gave it to me, and uh, but the lady gave me a dog bone for my dog. <laughs> and that was funny. She says, "I'm ready for you this time." Well, that was funny. Yeah, my Priscilla, she passed away now. It's hard when your pets, pets pass on, but it's hard to love. I still have good memories of her, so I'm grateful for that. And I got all these, a bear, oh. Bear is her daughter, right? One of her last born pups. And uh, she has a lot of her mother's ways. And she's smart as she can be. But I never did train Bear. I didn't do anything. I was, unfortunately, having a bout of serious depression the last a few years when Bear was a puppy. And so I just, she didn't get trained. But she shows all the signs of a super intelligent dog. But anyways, uh, what do I, I forgot where I was going with that. Where was I going? Oh, she has some of the same traits as her mom. So she has recently started putting her head, I sit here in my chair with my legs crossed up under me, and her mama would come and put her head in my lap. And she's starting to do the same thing. Especially when I have food. They come and wait. Just in case I might drop something. You know. Her mama did that. And when she wants me to go somewhere. She'll. Uh, get a piece of my clothing. And give it a little tug. And that way I know. Hey she's been trying to tell me something. And I wasn't listening. Like I gotta go potty. <laughs> you know, and so I listen. And I. I mean, that takes a smart dog. And she has no training at all, so I really feel bad. I should have trained her. And I probably still could and will start, but she's so scared of every freaking thing. There. 
there we go. I think, oh, 30 minutes, guys. Oh, cut off, cut off. There we go. 30 minutes, and I got all my torn papers done. And my card bases. So I'm going to go back over and I'm just going to give everything an extra good press. And then clean up my stragglies. I ain't going to throw them away. They're going to keep them. You just never know. I'll get me a baggie to keep them in. Yarn baggie. I think I got one in there. And I can get to decorate and get my cards out in the mail today. Well, keep your fingers crossed, y'all. All right. Thank you for coming and visiting with me. I do appreciate y'all. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Leave me a thumbs up. Say hello, especially if you're new. And uh, as always, do as the Lord will have you to do. And I will see you on my next video. Alright, Merry Christmas everybody!